Right, so we've got a two-part question here. Part one, we're asked to express 5 minus the square root of x times 1 plus root 2, uh, not the square root of x, square root of 8, in the form a plus b root 2, where a and b are integers. So let's concentrate on part one. Three part one. I'm going to rewrite down what we had. Uh, 5 minus root 8 times 1 plus root 2. Okay, let's just expand it out and see where we go. So 5 times 1 is 5. 5 times root 2 is 5 root 2. Negative root 8 times 1. Negative 1 lot of root 8. Negative root 8 times positive root 2 is going to be negative root 8. 16. Okay, moving forward here, so the 5 can stay as it is. 5 root 2 we can't simplify. Root 8 is the same as root 4 times 2, which simplifies to 2 root 2. So I'm going to write this as negative 2 root 2, and then negative, uh, taking away root 16 is Square root of 16 is 4. Okay, and then let's tidy everything up. So 5 take away the 4 is 1. 5 root 2 take away 2 root 2 is plus 3 root 2. So we have written it in the form a plus b root 2, and a and b are positive or negative whole numbers. So we're good to go. Okay, part 2 now. We need to express eight root eighty plus thirty over root five in the form c um, root five, where c is an integer. So essentially, we're going to simplify this expression. So root eighty plus thirty over root five. No, root eighty plus thirty over root five. We want to simplify this as far as possible. Okay, what about root 80? Can I think of some square numbers that multiply to 80? What about 16 and 5? 16 times 5. 6 fives are 30, carry the 3. Wonderful. So 16 times 5 is 80. Well, that's going to help me. So the square root of 80 I can actually write as the square root of... 16 times 5, plus we'll deal with this in a moment, 30 over root 5 like so. Square root of 16 times 5 is going to be 4 lots of root 5. Okay, and we have to add that 30 over root 5. Right, next thing I want to do is I'm going to want to deal with this here. So. I want to rationalize the denominator. So let's let's deal with that on the side. In fact, we can do we can deal with the whole thing together. So the four root five I'm not going to touch, I'm going to leave that alone. But thirty over root five, I'm going to multiply above and below by root five. That will rationalize the denominator. I multiply top and bottom by root 5, it's just like multiplying it by 1, so I'm not changing the value of it, I'm just changing the way it looks. 30 times root 5 is 30 lots of root 5, and then root 5 times root 5 is just going to be 5, which equals, so we've got 4 lots of root 5 plus, and the 5 can cancel into the 30, six times, so we get six lots of root five. Four root five plus six root five is 10 root five. I don't think we're gonna get any further with that. C, C times root five, where C is an integer, absolutely brilliant.